Well, good morning. Thought we'd take a few minutes to show you how to load and run a tape gun here. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is I went to the post office the other day, and there was a poor lady at the counter, and, and she looked like she had a better chance of fighting the Kraken than she did the tape gun. And I was a little annoyed. Uh, well, the people at the counter were a bit busy, so they really didn't have time to help her, and I suppose they can't help everybody that's never seen a tape gun before. This one happens to be made by 3M. really like this one. Um, it's got a couple good features. It's got, um, you can adjust the tension on the supply reel here. There's just a little knob and a spring. You can flip this door down to load it. A lot of them don't have this, this little lever. Another thing is when you bend this lever back up here, these very sharp teeth kind of poke out and cut the tape. Um, tape gun is only as good as the tape. Now I've had pretty good luck using this. This is this Tartan brand. Um, unfortunately the person I buy it from seems to no longer sell it, which is kind of a pity. I was buying, I don't know, 40 or 50 rolls at a time. So I bought this other brand. We'll see how this works. Um, there's a little more tape on here. I think the Tartan has like 50, I don't know, 50 some Stick on there? Yes, it will. Okay. I'm a little skeptical of this new brand, but it's all I could get a hold of right at this time. And there's actually, believe it or not, there are different levels of packing. There's packing tape, and there's shipping tape, and there's strapping tape. You know, any any place that sells this stuff ought to be able to tell you, tell you about it. They should be able to, unless you go to the big box store where they go, oh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, one of the first things you want to do is get the end up a little bit. And it might help you if to, to get it up and then bend it back over on itself and make a little tab. Now, you're going to load this so that the non-sticky side goes through um, this little door and roller. There's a roller there, so you just get your tape out there, stick that on there, make sure it's on there. You might want to... If you don't get if you get this too loose, what'll happen is it'll free wheel when you're using it and it might come out and make a big tangly mess. So you know, tighten it up enough so that it it's not too tight, but it doesn't move. And on this gun you just open this door, pull the tape through, put the door closed shut, and then bend it back, and then when you bend this tab shut, it cuts it. You're pretty much done. Now, that being said, so we'll just tape this box up. Um, like anything, practice makes perfect on um, tape guns. No okay, we'll just show you on this box here real quick. Um, tape guns, the I find the more, the less you fiddle and think about this, the better off you are. So we're just going to fold this up. I'm just going to flip that over. It's that simple. You don't need to make it into rocket science. If you want to do the edges, I just use my hand. Pull a little piece off. And stick it on the edge. And just... You may want to take and run a key or you know a butt end of a, a butter knife or something over there. Make sure that tape really gets stuck. Um, it seems pretty sticky. That makes a pretty strong seal. There's nothing to stop you from you know putting another couple layers on there. I don't know. I'm not super impressed with that tape. It's not, well, we'll see what happens. So there you go. Um, there are some other tape guns. Those little plastic all-in-one ones, I would avoid like the plague. Yeah, you got them with a free roll of tape. And you also got that hat with a free bowl of soup. So, uh, 
I don't know. The real secret to this is getting decent tape and getting a decent gun. And this thing is actually pretty strong. I've had this a number of years and it's held up pretty well. It's still in pretty good shape. And that little door kind of keeps the tape out there ready to go. Here in the wind, it keeps bending it back. But there you go. Take it easy. Have a groovy day.